What's happened with B&B is that, you know, being off the beaten path, when that door swings and they, and they walk in, uh, they want to be here. And so that, that's an adage for us, I think, that, you know, here, here we are, here we've been, and here's where we're going to stay. I, I kind of like that idea. It, it was intimidating at first to learn how to cut carcass beef. Uh, just watching my dad do it, he was such a master at it, you know. Use our special knife from back in the day. Follow the curve of the bone, go up, come around the hitch, straight back. There it is, sirloin tip knuckle. It's kind of a dying art form, uh, I'm afraid to say. Like my dad told us, until they build cows different, you know, we should be fine. <laughs> Here we go. We're actually increasing business. Um, even though the prices have been higher than they've ever been. But we've had people come in and want inch and a quarter, you know, or uh, say inch and a half steaks, which, you know, that's a nice cut steak. And uh, I, put, I put it up on the scale and I'll punch in the, the new price uh, being what it is. And no one ever complains. No one ever says, ah, it's too much, you know. They just buy it right up. It's always fun to come out here. The sandwich business is a, is, a, is a monster in itself. They come in for the sandwich and they start looking around and. Next thing you know, they're buying a steak. Next thing you know, they're being beaters, you know? Uh, that's, that's how we get them. There was a gentleman that worked for the uh, railroad. His name is Joe Dewey. And he came in and he just liked how big our sandwiches were. And he, he deemed them, you know, give me one of them killer sandwiches. And uh, the rest is, I guess you say, uh, history, you know? See ya. Yeah.